The Inca girl was only 15 years old and has been nicknamed the Maiden. Her frozen body was found in 1999 on an Argentinian volcano, Lulalaco, which I can't pronounce. This volcano has a 6,739 meter high summit and was being explored at the time when the expedition came across the Inca girl. She was chosen by the Inca people to live with her gods, but in reality she was sacrificed to her gods in the name of religion. The body of the girl is perfectly preserved and looks as if she died very recently, but in fact the poor girl had died around 500 years ago. Scientists were able to determine her diet by examining the proteins in her hair that had been preserved for all those years. It turns out that she had a very fattening and full diet for months, maybe even years before she was sacrificed. The Inca would sacrifice children after an important event as an offering to the gods. The children would be taken to the high mountain tops, fed coca leaves on the way up, and then given an intoxicating drink at the burial site. When they were intoxicated, the Inca priests would have killed them by strangulation or a blow to the head, and sometimes they would have even been left to freeze to death. Recently, scientists have discovered that the 500-year-old frozen girl had a bacterial infection when she was sacrificed. They say that the illness is similar to tuberculosis and that the discovery was made by swabbing the lips of the girl and comparing the samples with current patients. Scientists think that by discovering this bacteria it could help to fight new illnesses or re-emerging illnesses. So even though this poor girl died 500 years ago, her sacrifice could help to cure some diseases that are affecting modern people. I hope you found this video interesting, make sure to check out some of my other videos and a big thank you also to Jaden Davies for requesting this video topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.